Good morning. Personal cheerleader Sprite Lex reporting for duty again. Time to wake up. There you go. Today is dim sum day. Oh, okay, closing your eyes again. Okay, I get it. I get it. You know, I'm really excited I'm still assigned to you today. I love going to dim sum. Can't wait for all the hargao, sumai, crab claw, kanji. Oh, <laughs> that got you up. All right, let's get dressed. Wow. You got a lot of clothes, a lot of good options, so let's pick something. Chop, chop. Hey, you okay? Oh, okay. I see what's happening. Sorry, sorry. I rushed you. I know I got to work on that. Let's just take a breath. Good. Good. Keep breathing. <laughs> you know, this actually reminds me of another human I helped. So this human was about to meet his boyfriend's parents for the first time ever in a really fancy restaurant. And when I say fancy, I don't mean edible gold fancy, I mean edible diamonds fancy. And so we get to the restaurant, and then my human pulls me to the washroom, and I go, whoa, whoa, what's wrong? And he goes, I'm wearing the wrong outfit. Please, help me pick out a new one. And he pulls out from his bag three different outfits, and I go, what are you doing? He says, what I'm wearing, I don't think it will impress his parents. And I go to him and I say, Hey, you picked out what you were wearing today, not because you wanted to impress his parents, but because it made you feel good. Remember, that's what attracted your now boyfriend to you in the first place. So look, trust your instincts. If you feel good wearing that, wear it. And hey, enjoy the really fancy food I have no idea how to pronounce. And he looked at me, smiled, and he did. I made sure to put the backup outfits away in my invisible bag, and the introduction was a huge success. I even got to try some of the edible diamonds my human snuck me. Pretty good, but I'll take a pizza over edible diamonds any day. So, with that in mind, continue breathing, and just pick out an outfit that you know will make you feel good. Okay, great job. Now, let's just continue to take this one step at a time. Let's go to the door. It's okay. You ain't the first and you will not be the last to feel this. This stasis. There was another human I helped once. They had been inside for so long that they told me they forgot about the outside. Now, this human went through a bad time. A time so bad, in fact, that they stopped going out. Because to them, the world had become this hostile place where they would never be welcomed again. And the longer they stayed inside, the stronger that image became for them. Until one day, this human's dad invited them to a family dinner, and it was going to be a family dinner with all of their favorite foods, like sushi, steak, chocolate brownies. And as much as this human wanted to go, they were still scared that the world would hurt them the moment they went outside their door. But I knew they had to go, so I talked to their dad. And together, we, we talked to this human, and we said, this fear you're feeling, it's okay. It's okay to feel this fear. You went through this awful thing. But with this fear, you also need to learn to have some faith. That yes, even though the world outside may have changed in some ways for the worst, have some faith that in some ways it's still the same warm, welcoming place it always is and always was. And I know it's scary, but we'll be by your side, so feel that fear, but also remember to have faith. And with that, this human, for the first time in a long time, exited their door. So, yeah, the world has changed in some ugly ways, but have faith that there is still beauty in it. And let's open the door. 
Okay, restaurant is just around the corner. You can do this. Hey, do you remember how to use chopsticks? Hey, you okay? Oh, okay, let's just step off to the side. It's all right, I know. The things you do that make you you and the skills you have, you haven't used them in so long, it can feel like they're gone forever. I know what that's like. You see, I was a scientist human who used to give all the family speeches at the family reunion. And she was a great speaker. And the big one was always the one right before they cut this massive ice cream cake at the family's favorite restaurant. Until one day, she made an embarrassing mistake in one of her speeches and she completely lost the confidence to give speeches and eventually stopped talking. But on this particular family reunion, at their favorite restaurant in front of the same giant ice cream cake, the person who was supposed to give the speech fell ill. And I could see my human almost jumping out of her chair, ready to get on up there in front of the big ice cream cake and give the speech, but they kept stopping themselves. And I told them, it's okay. I know you're scared. I know you think you can't do it and it's not in you anymore. But you can do this. The fact that you were almost jumping out of there means that your ability to give these great speeches is still in you. So trust yourself. And she did. She got in front of that giant ice cream cake and she gave a rousing speech that saved the whole family reunion. And we all dined on some amazing ice cream cake. Seriously, it was so good. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the things that make you special they're still in you, so trust yourself, and let's get ice cream cake afterwards, if we still got room after dim sum. Oh, how I missed these noises. Okay, okay, I got one more story to tell you. You know, in Sprite culture, first kisses are kind of a big deal. <laughs> They're actually kind of embarrassing to talk about, but I'm gonna talk about it with you. You see, when I left home to do a Sprite college, I had my first kiss. And one day I was back home and we took a special visit to the human world to go to dim sum. And when we were eating, my mom was giving me the business, like, remember to do your wing exercises, remember to do your magic maintenance, just on and on and on and on, yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I was trying to eat, she then said, oh, remember, if you're going to have your first kiss with somebody, remember to wear chapstick. And I was so frustrated with all of her questions, I just blurted out, yes, mom, I did. And then there was silence at the table. And then everybody just erupted with laughter. And I tell you this because even though it was so embarrassing in the moment, I realized that was probably the best place for it to come out. Surrounded by the people I love and a belly full of good food. Now, you have to do one more thing. Enjoy yourself. Eat up. You don't have to pay attention to me. Just enjoy and know that I will always be with you. And I am so proud of you, of the progress you made today, the progress you made in the past, and the progress you'll make in the future. Learning to live again is hard, but I am so glad I get to be on this journey with you. So enjoy. In the meantime, I'm gonna go commandeer dim sum cart. Personal cheerleader Sprite Lex, out.